So subtitles are known to be one of the most important aspects when it comes to viewer engagement on YouTube and TikTok. And when it comes to actually manually doing them yourself every single time, it can get very time consuming and tedious. So that's why I'm going to be showing you a trick and a step-by-step -step process on how you could actually automate this in Premiere Pro. If you guys do enjoy it, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get right into it. So the first thing you got to do, obviously, is open up Premiere Pro. We're just going to go new project here, and I'm going to call it subtitle auto sample or something like that. And we're just going to press enter and actually create this. And then from here, what we're going to do is we are are going to get some sample footage so for me i'm just going to find something that i've used previously so i got some gameplay right here it's like five minutes long but what i'm gonna do is i'm literally just gonna cut down to a short 30 second portion right here like you guys can see i'm inside typically it doesn't really matter what order you do the subtitling in i typically wait till the very end after i've edited my entire video and added all my effects to add the subtitles because effects can mess up the way that the subtitles look or the appearance or something like that so i highly suggest that you just do this at the very end basically what you're gonna do in order to do this is you're gonna go up here to window you're gonna go to workspaces and you're gonna go to text based editing now from here what you're going to do is you're going to click on the layer you're going to click on create captions from transcript you're just literally going to go to subtitle default right here language you don't even have to do anything speaker labeling just do don't separate speakers and then you're literally just going to do this maximum length in characters i normally drag down to like 29 or 30 but if you're doing youtube video if you're doing tiktok i highly recommend doing like 7 to 10 duration in seconds uh you can literally do like you can do like the default and then lines make sure it's on single then from there you're going to go transcribe and create caption like you guys can see i'm inside of creative now. and just like that we can see that i have actually created my captions just like this and the cool thing about this is you can come through like you guys can see i'm inside of creative now we can see that i am sitting, sitting at a comfortable. a comfortable 700 to 800 fps so we can see the ai actually missed where it said fps so you want to come through here right after and you're going to edit each line keep in mind well as well as stream labs on the computer so that's going to be like ru while running four four processes so we're going to edit this processes so pretty much you're going to come through obviously keep in mind this is while recording with my camera as well as streamlabs and literally it's it's literally it's that simple it takes two seconds to just bring these up and then once you've actually made sure everything looks good and everything is correct in terms of the sentences you're gonna left click and highlight all these go to graphics and titles go down here and upgrade caption to graphics. And then from there, what we're gonna do is we're going to go to window, workspaces, and we're gonna go to effects. Now from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to this first layer right here. Like you guys, so like you, we're actually going to double click on the like you and we're gonna change to whatever font we want. So I typically use Akira Expanded and obviously this is way too small. So I'm gonna increase the font size to something like maybe 75 or 80, something like that. We'll probably just stick with 75. And all we get to do is do create style just like this. And you can just do this as, uh, Joshi Akira. You literally will just press OK. And that is like you guys can see the style here. And we can you see guys. it switches off. So the only problem is we have to apply it to all of these layers right now. So all we got to do to apply it to all, we can see it's come down here into our project media bin. We literally select all of them just like we did before. Drag it on. You can see I'm inside of. And we can see that it automatically. We can see that this is a bit too long. So you might want to bring your characters down a little bit, depending on how long. And that's literally it. Yep. In terms terms of that like you guys can obviously if you use a smaller font it will be a lot smaller and you will probably be able to get a lot more into a single sentence but uh here expanded i just like the way it looks and it fits in with the style of my videos i use it all the time and yeah that's literally all there is to it. it would be a slightly longer process if we did have this entire video let's say five minutes long we just have to come through and proofread absolutely everything but once it's absolutely proofread all we got to do is literally convert it to a graphic and then just drag on the text style it's that simple it's literally like five minutes of work which would normally take anywhere from from like half an hour to an hour. So I highly recommend that you start doing this if you are an editor editing your own videos or for clients. But that's gonna do it for this short tutorial, guys. If you wanna see more useful tips and tricks like this, make sure to let me know down below in the comments. If you wanna see something specific, let me know down there as well. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a future video on the channel. Peace out.